Hello, good evening po sa ating mga class, sa Macau, Ali Favor. Yes, uh, we welcome you everyone sa ating um, online service ulit uh, sa gabi nito. At um, we pray that um, the Lord God will open up your door to receive the word of the Lord for tonight. At uh, ma-bless po kayong lahat dyan sa ating mga kapatiran sa Macau. Uh, good evening sa inyong lahat. At um, be with us throughout this uh, online service. At um, we encourage you to to stay with us for this uh, for the whole um, service. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Ha, we welcome you. We welcome everyone. And God bless everyone. So let's welcome our praise and worship leader, uh, sister, sister Alma Diaz.
to come, Lord God, to share your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the challenge, Lord God, na, na makapalunong, Panginoon, makaupo dito, Panginoon, Lord. Lord, be blessed with the Lord. Lahat uh, na, lahat na nakauna yung mga nakikinig, Panginoon, sa yung salita, Panginoon, Lord. We ask, Lord God, your Holy Spirit, oh Lord, my God, Lord, and God, Lord. Ang interview, oh Lord God, oh Lord, uh, sa meses ko ngayon na ito, Panginoon, Lord God, at uh, ikaw na po, Lord, um, and uh, every words, Father God, na, na aking sasamitin, oh Lord God, let your will, oh Lord God, hallelujah, Lord God. Then, oh Lord God, I'm just going to use, Father God, as a mighty vessel, oh Lord God, to speak, oh Lord, that the one who will speak, oh Father God, is you, Lord, your presence, Father God. Lord, we thank you so much, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, so ang ano natin ngayon, ang topic po natin ngayon is determined to overcome problems. Kasi po, uh, dito po sa ano, dito po sa kinakatuyan po natin ngayon, hindi, hindi bigit sa atin na magkakaroon po tayo ng mga problema. Na, kung kaya kung minsan hindi natin inaasahan yung problema, we just nandyan na ano, sumasabay. At uh, habang tayo nabubuhay, ayun, problema pa rin ang, ano, ang, ang sumusunod sa atin. Kung minsan hindi natin, yung ang sabi mo hindi natin inaasahan dahil kung minsan nandiyan sunod-sunod. Kung minsan uh, nai-stress tayo, nadi-depress, yung kung minsan yung mga, yung mga iba pa nga dyan, eh, kung sila ay na-stress, talagang sila ay magpapakamatay. Pero bilang isang kristyano, maraming salamat dahil, Uh, nandiyan si Lord na nagbibigay ng peace sa ating buhay. At ang text po namin ngayon is sa John 16.33 na sabi na dito that I have told you these things as in me. You may have peace. In this world, you have trouble but take heart. I have overcome the world. Ayun, sabi niya yun ang promise niya na in overcome, Jesus has overcome the world. Kaya po tayo kung meron tayong mga problema sa ngayon na hinaharap ay nandyan na si Holy Spirit na nagbibigay yung presence niya sa akin para magkaroon kayo ng peace. Dahil kung walang, hindi natin naramdaman yung peace ni, ni God, ayun na, talagang may stress na tayo dahil nga sa problema na ating hinaharap, lalo na lalo na ngayon dito sa COVID na ito, na akala natin ito ay mag-low-low uh, down na at babali sa normal, pero ito, palala ng palala. But uh, take heart na uh, as we come, as we, as we, kapit lang tayo kay Lord, ay nandyan siya. At uh, bilang isang Kristiyano, ah, uh, yung sabi niya dito, that as a Christian, we should expect him continuing tension with an unbelieving world that is, that, uh, that is of sync with Christ, His gospel, and His people at the same time, we can expect our relationship with Christ to produce peace, comfort, because we are in sync with Him. Ayun niya po. Kung nakakonek tayo sa Kanya, magkakaroon po tayo ng peace at sya ka yung comfort niya yung sa, yung sa, nasa sa atin. Yes. And Jesus tell us to take His youth and we'll, it will be easy and that His burden is light. In, makikita po dito sa Matthew 11.30. But now, where does He promise that there will be no external trouble from the Holy world? in which we live, or that God will design for us some refining fire for our good in His glory. Our Master and Savior suffered greatly at the hand of the evil, the evil man. In this light, we deal that this with trials of sickness, strategies, natural disaster, and malevolence, and yet, for the Christian, we are able to walk to it, all with peace and purpose. The life that God called us to be a wonderful, because Jesus overcome the world. Christ suffered mightily because God called him to suffer, and yet he, the author of the Hebrews says that Christ was anointed with oil of joy in Hebrews 1, 1 chapter 9, 1 verse 9. So here Jesus, the promise of peace, if we trust him and walk faithfully in our lives through what, through what God has uh, for us being faithful. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18, for every little blessing we will live a life of, uh, of joy. You know, it's not just a heavy chapter 1 verse 9. Here Jesus promises peace. If we, have, if we, if we 
if we trust Him and walk faithfully in our lives to what God has for us, being faithful for every blessing, we will live a life of joy, peace, in the presence of God. So, so dito may five, five points dito sa message na ito. Yung sabi niya sa number one, I have told you these things. Previously, in the same chapter, he told the disciple that he is leaving from soon and that he will suffer, that they will suffer too. And even that they would also scatter and leave him alone in his greatest hour of need. But he also told them that they would rejoice after mourning. For a while, he told them that he would send his Holy Spirit to comfort them and guide them. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So, number two is, so that in me, you may have peace. It was not the information itself what is bringing them joy, although it would help when trouble came for, for them to remember that Jesus had been prophetic in this warning. This peace would be Christ. Seeking peace anywhere else is a trap on other method of finding peace is security, only live to anxiety. The peace we find in Christ is eternal and will stand in any circumstances. Yun nga lang, yun nga, talagang hindi nga natin maiwasan talaga pag may problema talaga. Kung hindi natin maramdaman yung okay, sabi ko nga, our life is so misery. Kaya, let's thank the God yung kanya peace ay nasa sa atin. Tapos in number three is, please, in this word, you may have trouble. Ayun. But every, every any cause of your prosperity, make no mistake seeking the kingdom of God and the righteous. Righteousness in Matthew 6, 30, 6, 6, Matthew 6 verse 33, and living wisely unto God will make it highly likely that you will prosper, but no one Christian or not Christian avoid trouble in his life in the very long. Yeah, yung, yung hindi, yung hindi pa nga, yung, yung misang sabi natin na buti pa nung, ano, buti pa nung hindi ako Christian dahil, ano, dahil mas, ma, mas, uh, ano lang yung, ano, yung, yung mga problema nung naging Christian daw, ang dami-dami na problema. Because take heart, kasi maraming problema, pero si Lord naman ang nagbibigay ng, ano, ng way na, ng magkakaroon ng peace. Hallelujah. So, this number four is, to take heart means to build up your courage or be encouraged. Jesus' words are meant to be emboldened us to strengthen our spirit of the fight ahead. Lahat ng problema ay ating matatagumpayan dahil si Lord ay ating, siya ang ating kalakasan. Amen. So, number five is, I have overcome the world. When Jesus spoke his word, he had not yet faced his trial in the garden of Gethsemane. He had not yet suffered the mocking, the beating, the spitting, the torture of the hand of Jews in, in the Roman. He had not yet been abandoned. All his, travels, all his followers betrayed by his disciples or denied by one of his closest friends. He had not yet been in hung on a cross and forsaken by his father for the only time in all of eternity and yet that he had already overcome the world and was the evident in the terms he used my brother than i will he would face that what what, what that was to come because he was the lamb of god is the same since the foundations of the world in Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 as a follower we too can face anything because in his follower we too can face anything because him we can overcome the world take heart in walk in what God has said as for you for your joy and his, and his glory so So, so that is the passage Jesus said that he has already overcome the world in any situation, any problem, any broken relationship. Seek the Lord in everything. God, God, I get closer. Any relationship to Him, always seek His guidance because. As Jesus says, I already overcome the world. And let the peace of God always in our life and that peace will calm all areas of our lives and that peace. Release love, compassion, healing, restoration, and deliverance. 
<clears throat> so we just only thank to God for His, uh, for His, uh, for show us the the peace that we will we will, we will overcome any situation in our life, and that's the end. That how can how can God help us to, to overcome any problems, any situations in our life, especially in our in our uh, what we are yung kinakapayan natin sa 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 oras na ito sa situation na ito uh, hindi tayo hindi tayo makatakot we will not uh, get here because God is always with us kaya na we just come to uh, nakakunik lang tayo kay Lord as the vine as the vine and we as Jesus as God is the as the vine and we are the branches na hindi tayo hindi tayo um, makikipaghiwalay sa kanya but we will come to connect him to sing in him, in his word in a prayer, in our in our worship kaya yan po mga, mga kaibigan sa Macau at uh, keep it up and let us uh, be rejoice in every areas of our life, ano man po yung mga problema, situation sa ating buhay na dumarating, wag po tayong matakot dahil God is with us and always with us and always protect us and guide us. Lord, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sister Anita, for the word of, uh, word of God. Um, I just want to say to encourage that continue to work into the Lord because any problem, any trials, if you have the God in you, you are victorious. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, let's pray. Thank you, God, thank you so much for this preaching, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you encourage us once again, O oh Lord, how to solve the problem, O oh Lord. Thank you for your work. Thank you for the lives of Sister Anita, for what she had she shared. And I believe that those who are in Macau right now, I believe that their spiritual understanding and spiritual eyes will be open at this moment and how to solve the problem. And I pray that everybody will be, there will be healing and deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I pray that the Word of God need you strengthen. I believe that this time you know how to solve the problem. And thank you for the grace of God. Have mercy. Hallelujah. Thank you for the strength that comes from you, O oh Lord. That in your word, when we apply, O oh Lord, there will be a power and it is effective in us. When we, when we believe in your word and when we follow you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for picking us how to humble ourselves when we have the problem. You're teaching us how to surrender unto you when the problem is there. You teach us how to depend on you when the problem is there. We thank you, Jesus, for this moment. Hallelujah. That you teach, you teach us once again. You refresh us once again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your work. It's really, really powerful, your work. Hallelujah. And thank you for the lives for in the those who are in the in the Bible, those who are using as apostles in the Bible. We thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. And I believe that in those who are in Macau right now, they are blessed for tonight. And I pray that you will be raised up and never give up when the problems come. And always victorious. Always there is joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus, for everything. And perfect Sister Anita, Sister uh, Grace, Sister Alma, and Sister Jacqueline, Sister 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Protect them, O Lord God. Give them strength, O Lord God. Hallelujah. And cover them, Lord, with your precious blood. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Hallelujah. Especially in Macau. Lord, you're in control for everything. Hallelujah. And those also who are watching right now, I believe that they will be blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. On Sunday, I will, we will invite you that on Sunday, you will watch again and continue to watch in online. And stay. On Wednesday also, there is an online. So, be ready. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless everyone and good night. See you again on Wednesday and Sunday. Bye.